An abandoned Spartanburg County mill is one step closer to being converted into high-end loft apartments. The County Planning Commission voted in favor of the project tonight. 7 News reporter Dave Jordan was there. He's joining us now and he has more details of this project. Dave. Well, Tom, this project is moving forward, but it is not a done deal yet. There are many issues that need to be ironed out, specifically as it pertains to parking. For more than 60 years, the old Converse Mill was the lifeblood of this Spartanburg County neighborhood near Oakland and High Street, and also a force in the textile industry. But since its closure in 1967, it sat idle and became an eyesore for neighbors in the area. Frank Sprouse used to work here and lives across the street. He supports the plans now in the works to turn this former cotton mill into high-end lofts. I believe that people would come and people would live in it and, and enjoy it. Uh, because right now there's nothing going on. Today those plans advanced after Spartanburg Planning Commission voted in favor of the proposal. Developer Billy Hughes outlined his plans for the mill, which he says is structurally sound. What we see though is uh, beautiful bones, um, a chance to revitalize an area that was once vibrant. But some neighbors are concerned about the project. Anybody that lives there knows you can't get in and out. There's one way in, one way out. Penny Berry lives at the bottom of Oakland Street, right behind the mill, and says the narrow streets are difficult for neighbors to navigate on a good day. She's concerned about the 270 plus parking spaces initially included in the plans. So if you're looking at sitting here turning that into a parking lot, what is that going to do for us that live on the Mill Hill? for us to have to get out as it is. Hughes promised to work out those issues and the commission voted to reduce the parking spaces to 208. We want to be good neighbors. Um, we don't want to be obstacles in anybody's lives or, or deterrence of anybody's well-being. Now, I said at the outset of this piece that this was not a done deal. It has to be reviewed, Tom, by the Spartanburg Code Enforcement before moving to the full county, commission, county council rather, for a vote. Tom? All right, Dave, thank you for that. If the project gets final approval, construction could begin as early as next year.